Mike Tank has the night off. Merchants in Vigo County have been advised that possessing or selling THC products is illegal under Indiana law. That includes products containing things like Delta 8 and Delta 10 or other THC derivatives. This has caused several local businesses to get rid of their products to avoid any legal issues. Garrett Drake has our top story. On July 1st, Vigo County Prosecutor Terry Modisett sent out a release banning THC products. He says that the products have been causing problems in the community. If they're juveniles, then they go through the juvenile center, which would be more uh, handled in a more informal way. Um, I cannot, again, say necessarily there's an uptick, but I can say that I think there's an uptick on the amount of cases as far as people driving under the influence and then being involved in accidents. Local vape shops that we reached out to declined to be on camera, but they say that they've lost over half of their customers. However, what they are selling may not be what it appears after Indiana State Police lab testing. And they found out that the amount of um, THC that they have on each product, it lists on there, um, that those amounts were underestimated on a number of the products. They were a lot higher. I mean, some of them were, you know, 10, 15 times high compared to the amount that it said they had on the product, on the packaging. If businesses continue to sell these items, the amount and circumstance could lead to a lengthy punishment. It would be the same thing as just selling, dealing a drug that's a Schedule One that's under the laws of the state of Indiana is illegal. Absolutely. So if they comply, you know, that would be the end of it. If they don't, then we'll have to take some action on it. And the release from Modisett ended by saying businesses needed to remove all cannabis and smokable hemp products from shelves.